All right. Getting over heartache, heartbreak, separation, breakup, getting over something very painful is the overall energy. Someone could have done you dirty, someone could have cheated, or you could have cut someone off, someone cut you off. You're getting over it, all right? Could be a third party situation, doesn't have to be, but we'll see. Uh, in the past, we see Ten of Pentacles in reverse. A lot of instability, insecurity in a relationship. This could be a breakup. This could be someone who's left a marriage or left a long-term commitment. But uh, definitely, I see that your uh, relationship wasn't being able to reach that uh, point of commitment. All right. This could be someone ending a marriage. Could be even someone who's stuck in a marriage, okay, stuck in a commitment or a family situation. All right. Could be someone non-committal. Right now with the 10 of wands here, I see that you're overburdened about a situation, okay? There is something here that is stressing you out. That is, you know, you've just re reached a point of exhaustion here. You're overwhelmed with something, all right? You're dealing with a lot of burdens and responsibilities or something or someone is weighing very, very heavy on your mind, okay? This has been like a long road for you and you have probably been dragging something for a very long time and now it's stressing you out, okay? What is crossing or influencing the situation with Six of Pentacles? So I feel that something is a one-sided situation for sure, okay? There is one person, you know, who was overly invested and the other person was doing shit, all right? Someone could have been taken advantage of or someone was just abusing their power, but something was one-sided, okay? There was no balance or this was just unhappiness in a long-term commitment, okay? Because everything was one-sided. Now, what is challenging this is being reciprocal, okay? This is someone who is, someone needs more giving in the relationship, okay? They're, the challenge is to have an equal give and take in the relationship, okay? Being, taking care of people, being more reliable, nurturing and having an equal exchange of something, okay? Could be someone dealing with more than one person, doesn't have to be. This could be someone giving to two people. But uh, as a challenge, I see a balance, okay? Someone needs to balance out the situation. It can't just be one-sided. What's on your mind is the devil. You could have fear of something or there is something that you're feeling very, very tight and bound to, okay? This is feeling restricted to something, maybe due to fear you're feeling tied and bound to this, or there is a third element here which is making you feel stuck to a situation. And, or this is a big obsession, okay? Someone's obsessed with you, addicted to you, or you're obsessed with them, okay? You just cannot stop thinking about it. Whatever it is, it is a very, very unhealthy attachment to something, okay? And that's on your mind. You could be overthinking about this person obsessively, or they could be thinking about you, okay? You could feel that you just cannot let go of or break free from this connection but it's extremely toxic. The reason for the reading or the root of the issue is the moon, okay? There's a lot of unknown energy here, okay? Again, more fear. The moon is again unknown energy, energy, but it is fear. Fear of something, hidden emotions, deep emotional, deep emotions being hidden, secrets and stuff like that, okay? Eight of swords in reverse, I see in the future, you are going to free yourself from anything that you're feeling tied and bound to, okay? It could be this devil, or you're just freeing yourself from anything that you had a lot of fear of. Mm. You could be overthinking a situation a lot, okay? You probably were in your own way all this time. You were feeling struck and, stuck and strapped into a situation and you couldn't get out of it, but it was only because of your own belief and your thoughts, okay? Self-doubt syndrome. This is a lot of self-imposed mental prison that you were in wanting. You, it's like you were wanting to be in this state all this while. I feel it's the devil here. And I think now you're almost there because you feel there is no reciprocity in this relationship. You're sick of it. You're tired of it. That's when in the past probably you felt that this was not reaching a point of stability or you ended a marriage or a commitment. You could have been in your head for a very long time. This relationship was a very big burden. It was stressing you, exhausting the shit out of you. With the moon here, you, I feel you had a lot of fear or you were just not sure where this, this was going. And I think with the Eight of Swords in reverse here, you're freeing yourself from it. You're getting out of it. You're freeing yourself from fear, any self-limiting beliefs. You're not feeling tied and bound to something or someone anymore, okay? You're just getting back to your senses in shock, all right? The devil can do this to you, okay? The devil is that kind of energy, okay? It's like no matter how much you try, you're just not being able to get out of it. But the best part is, you're the only one who can get out of it, okay? 
it's a toxic situation it's very addictive okay like you just want more of it but at the end of the day you realize it's fucking emotionally draining you it just feels you empty it just leaves you empty feeling empty from the end all right let's clarify clarify the three of swords in reverse what is this three of swords in reverse hmm we have the knight of pentacles in reverse the page of cups in reverse and the star in reverse what the fuck is going on clearly you thought something was a hopeless situation with the star in reverse i think you lost hope and you thought something was just absolutely hopeless it was a divine connection let me tell you that but probably you couldn't wait for the right timing okay the star is a divine timing connection it is something that will happen at the right time at the right moment okay it could be that probably you're in a hurry but the universe is not that's what i would say okay so something did not come there was a wish that was not fulfilled with the star here in reverse this could also be where someone is not healed okay you could have needed a lot of healing but probably you you haven't healed from it okay you are still in the process with the overall energy you're still in the process of healing or i feel this is just someone who just lost complete hope, hope over the situation okay you didn't get a wish that was true or this is just time is needed okay you've lost hope with the page of cups in reverse you could have shut yourself off emotionally to this person this is someone who's emotionally very immature at the same time okay the page of cups in reverse someone who's not opening up and someone who's emotionally very immature with the page of cups in reverse here i feel you could have stopped communicating with this person or you were just shut off okay with the knight of pentacles in reverse there could be a situation where you were probably wanting to move forward but you were moving too too slow okay you were very very slowly and cautiously moving towards this person but with the reverse here i feel you're not moving your ass at all okay or you're just not doing anything about it you're not making any moves you're staying on one place feeling stuck and stagnant okay you could or the person you're dealing with could feel that there is just no progression okay anyhow with the knight of pentacles in reverse i think there was someone who was not offering you the stability and security okay they were not ready to offer you the commitment that you uh deserved or someone which is not putting in the work okay there was potential but they were just not doing the work and that in turn made you lost hope however you're getting out of it okay but you haven't healed completely clap for the 10 of pentacles in reverse why is 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 the 10 of pentacles in reverse clearly with the five of wands here the king of wands in reverse and the three of pentacles okay so probably this was where probably you um you guys were building together okay you guys were probably on the same page or this is what you wanted it it could be that what you wanted you wanted to collaborate with person you wanted team work or there could be a third person involved okay could be at work but there is definitely a third element involved between you and this person okay doesn't have to be a lover doesn't have to be cheating but it could definitely be a third element influencing a third person influencing uh, your relationship okay could be a mother could be a father could be a friend relative anyone okay with the with the five of wands here i feel too many people again too many people in your within your relationship or too many conflicts between you and this person okay and with the king of wands in reverse here there's someone here who's very very non committal or there's someone who's just very insincere and very inconsistent okay someone's just not taking action could be because they're not feeling it but the king of wands in reverse is also a ladies man okay he gets a lot of attention he likes a lot of attention he doesn't like to stick in one place and um his he's not focused on just one person okay he's 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 not really You, you know this is someone who is not really ready to step up their role okay the other way of looking at it is that um with the five of wands here you could have been conflicted in your head okay of whether you want to work on this relationship or you just don't want to put in any effort all right it could be take it how it resonates and that's why you feel stuck in a commitment okay i get two stories just take what resonates fly for the 10 of wands fly for the 10 of wands why is the 10 of wands here Why is the ten of wands here? Why is it all 
always said, well, that once you give up on a certain relationship and then it all wants to come back. Why? Why does it always happen? Is this, I mean, this is the law of attraction. Fuck. I mean, <laughs> I see this all the time. All right. Now that you are almost stressing and you're at the verge of giving up this relationship, look who's coming in. The same person who wasn't moving their ass. The Knight of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles in a reverse. Someone is ready to partner up or be in a relationship, okay? This could be someone who's fed up of being alone or at the same time, someone who's highly codependent in some way, okay? Could be, but out here, now I see this is someone who's ready for a relationship. Once you drop the burden, once you drop them, they're ready to have this relationship. They want a brand new beginning with you. Over the Knight of Pentacles here, here they are, ready or not. Here they come, but they're moving their ass super slow, okay? Slowly, cautiously, they're going to think how they want to come in again. Okay? The Knight of Pentacles is someone who reaches their goal. That's the good part. The bad part is that they're super slow, okay? You probably will feel that they're just not coming in, but they are, okay? It's just that they're very, very cautious. They want to come in correct, okay? They want to offer you, they want to offer you stability and security, something that will stand the test of time, all right? That's what they want to do. So now I think that this is what you want and this is what you're getting. Maybe they are ready to balance out this relationship and they're ready for this equal give and take. Five of the six of pentacles. Why is the six of pentacles here? Why is the challenge the six of pentacles? Why is this influencing the situation? Why is the six of pentacles here? All right. <clears throat> We have the King of Cups, the Four of Wands in reverse, and the Seven of Cups. Clearly, I feel that with the Seven of Cups here, someone is confused. Either someone had their options open, like I said, could be given to two people, doesn't have to be. Either someone kept their options open, or this was someone who was confused because they, because they didn't know which option to choose, okay? Options does not mean person, it means which approach is the best approach. Because we already see with the Three of Swords in reverse here, as your overall energy, someone's definitely broken your heart, someone's done dirty to you. And with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse here, we already know that someone's left a commitment, long-term commitment, or a relationship, okay? So now they're confused about how to come back, okay? Because with the Four of Wands in reverse here, I think I, again, I see there was a lot of disharmony and a lot of conflict and a lot of instability within your relationship. Okay, your your relationship wasn't um, the best of the relationship, and with the four of wands here, if it wasn't a marriage, it was definitely something that was as good as a marriage or a long term commitment. Okay, yes, they love you a lot. Yes, they want to uh, reciprocate this love, but they're just very confused of how to come towards you. With the four of wands in reverse here, I think the veil has been lifted. They now see things very, very clearly. Maybe this could have been a situation where, you know, they were just acting like everything was okay or you were acting like everything was okay, but now the truth is out. The... Uh, with the four of wands in reverse, I also feel that there could be a family situation where you're not getting along with their family or they're not getting along with your family. Maybe you don't feel welcome in the family. Okay. But definitely this is an unhappy marriage. Okay. Or this is also someone, a situation where the situation is absolutely unstable and it just doesn't hold any security or harmony. Okay. And that's why you're leaving the relationship. Okay. Someone's moving out. Someone moved out, but then now someone realizes that they love them so much, but they're just confused. The entire thing, there's a lot of confusion. There's just no clarity about what to do. Okay. They just don't know how to make this relationship a balanced relationship. They don't know how to balance it out. Life for the devil. Why is the devil here? Why is the devil here on Leo's mind? 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 Same cards, really? Did you see where I picked them up from? So if the same cards keep coming in, you know, it screams a lot. It screams a lot. Again. Again, someone could have been very confused with options. We already know that. And again, there was no stability and security. With the Queen of Swords, yeah, I think you just told them off. I think you were fed up. You were fed up and you realized that with the devil here, 
this was extremely toxic okay you realize that this is toxic but somehow somewhere you feel you just cannot get out of this relationship because you're stuck in this okay you're stuck in this relationship you're stuck in this marriage okay you're done you want to leave but you're just you you feel like there is a certain um pull or there is a certain codependent the devil can also be huge codependency okay this is codependency also so i think this is codependence more than anything you want to leave this relationship you know everything about it you're fed up but it is a relationship that is codependent okay try for the moon why is the moon here why is the moon here why is the moon here Ten of Swords, the Lovers, and the Three of Wands. This is what the Moon is. They know you're a strong soulmate connection. They feel this connection. They love you very, very much. Okay, they love you very much. They're hiding these feelings. Okay, they're keeping quiet about it. This is what is the secret. They know this is a soulmate connection, soulmate twin flame connection. If you believe in it, they can't let you go too. But somehow, somehow, it's getting very, very toxic. Okay, it's getting very toxic. The devil also has the lovers here. Okay, but as you said, here it's blessed with the angels, and here it's blessed with the devil. Okay, not blessed, cursed, probably. So I feel on your mind, you feel it's toxic, but probably this is going through a transformation. Okay, there is an ending of a painful cycle with the ten of swords here. Someone does feel very betrayed or backstabbed, and now they're waiting and watching with the three of wands here. Someone's waiting. That's why there is this. unknown energy around with the moon here they feel this connection they want a reunion but i think there's someone who's still feeling betrayed and backstabbed and they're waiting either they're waiting for you to realize this connection and they're keeping their feelings hidden or you're waiting for them to realize that it's this connection and waiting for them to make a move but whoever's here i feel with the moon here someone's waiting and watching okay like we already know right someone's very confused very confused like how do i approach leo What about the Eight of Swords in Reverse? Why is the Eight of Swords in Reverse? You have the Nine of Cups. You have the Nine of Cups, the Three of Cups in Reverse, and the Eight of Cups. A lot of emotions. A lot of emotions. Whoever's walking away, they're very deeply hurt. Okay, they're they're really walking away because they're emotionally unhappy. I feel that there is a third party involved with the Three of Cups in Reverse here. We did see the Three of Pentacles here. Either this is someone who does not want to reunite, they don't want a reconciliation, or this is just someone where again multiple people involved, or this could be where you know you're just not being able to get to on the same page. Okay. you're walking away because it's not it's not fulfilling you emotionally and with the nine of cups here i feel that you're just going to do now you're choosing yourself and you're going to do what makes you happy you're freeing yourself from this connection with the eight of swords in reverse here you could have been stuck in this connection for a very long time maybe you even realized that you love this person this is a soulmate connection but at a certain point of time you realize that the, with the devil here this is toxic okay and you need to get rid of this and you're the only one who can do it maybe this marriage or this commitment was toxic okay you were probably fed up of the lack of being of this being a one sided situation someone's walking away probably no reconciliation because they're just not being able to be with you on the same page and with the nine of cups here this is someone who's just going to do what makes them happy they're emotionally independent which is a good part leo this could be you you feel that you have everything that it takes to make yourself happy you're not emotionally dependent at all your cup is full be ready to give but it's like you're ready to give you can give and give and give now but now you're not dependent on this person anymore okay you have everything that you need around you and you're putting yourself first and you're focusing on what makes you happy you don't need a uh, you know you don't need anyone to make you happy you're emotionally very very content and uh, you feel whole and complete you're doing absolutely fine by yourself leo if you're the one walking away and you're just going to do what's best for you. Yep. Yeah. All right, Leo. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Leave your comments below. I'd love to hear from you and please like, share, subscribe and I'll see you next time.